If you're a visual thinker, you will like Infernodus. It helps to make connections between your thoughts and reveal the most important ideas and gaps using advanced network science analytics. Unlike traditional mind maps where you have to start with the central idea and the categories to make it work, in Infernodus you can think in a purely rhizomatic way so that the connections between your thoughts do not become a mess and so that you can always access the context where a certain idea appeared in. Try it out on infernodus.com or keep watching to learn how it works. So first of all, when we look at a traditional mind map which I made using MindMeister here, we have to always start with a central idea. In this case, I'm writing about different types of networks, different connectivity, they have different measures of influence and the propagation types. As you can see, it can be very difficult to start thinking in this way because if you don't know the subject, how will you know the different types and categories? So this is already the first difficult part. The second part is that when you start making connections between your thoughts, in this case, for instance, social networks between centrality or World Wide Web and PageRank, it becomes very messy and you don't know which of those ideas that you added are more important to your particular subject of study. It all becomes completely different in Infernodus because when you look at the mind map that you created using the tool, you can actually see what are the main ideas, you can see how they're related, you can also read the descriptions of the relations between them. And it becomes like a purely rhizomatic way to think, so you don't have to think in terms of the categories, you don't have to start with a central idea, you can just write your ideas in using this interface here and they will be added into the graph. Let me show you how it works using a simple idea of actually creating the same kind of mind map as we have here. You know, let's see how we can do this in Infernodus. So first of all, you can just start using hashtags to be more precise. So for example, I can say there are different types of networks, random networks, scale free networks and small world networks. As you can see, I use mentions to create the node to which all the other nodes connect and I use hashtags for the other one. So here I have a, a statement and all the different types of networks. Then I can also kind of depart from this hierarchical way of thinking. I can say that uh, most social networks are also small world networks. So we add a new connection here, small world networks, social networks. Then we can also write that the nodes that have the highest between us centrality in the social networks will play an important role in information propagation. So here I added something about propagation. I can also say that propagation in random networks happens in a fast oscillatory way. And you see here I'm already creating a mind map which is rhizomatic at its core. I am obviously interested in the ideas propagation and also in random networks and here I can already kind of lay out the outline of my thought and I don't have to think where to start from. I just go with the flow. And this is what Infernodus allows you to do. So this is how it works using the text input feature and uh, let me just show you the mind map that I created uh, before using the same data set which I used for this one here, the traditional mind map. And the advantage here is that uh, all the nodes uh, that have more influence in this particular context will be shown bigger on the graph and the color indicates the clusters of ideas that belong together. So here I can see that yes I was writing about network types text networks, social networks, transportation networks, and so on. I was also writing about the different measures, but now I can see that the measure between the centrality is connected to the small world networks, and it's also connected to the idea of propagation. And if I click here, I can see in which context this idea appeared. So it's very quick for me to kind of get back into this thought and to see how I was thinking about a certain topic. And then let's say if I want to make a new connection, so for example, I want to say that social networks uh, and between us and Charles is this important connections. I can say that uh, important role in propagation. Just add this connection 
as you can see, it appears in the graph and I can really quickly connect the different nodes together. If I just want to add only one node, let's say something about criminal networks, I just add this as a hashtag, it appears here. I can also say that criminal networks are hierarchical networks. Okay, I can say that hierarchical networks and criminal networks have fast propagation of command. Add this into the graph, but then I can also say that hierarchical networks are less resilient. I can say that small world networks are more resilient. And so on. You see, I'm kind of fantasizing going with the flow and I have this nice visualization of my ideas. I can always come back to it. I have the powerful graph analytics here that shows me the main topical groups. I have the inside feature that shows me the structural gaps in my thought, proposing me to make connections between things that are not so well connected. So in this case, it's actually this one. It's the criminal networks, hierarchical networks, and the notion of between essentiality. So the proposition here is to think what is the measure between essentiality for the different nodes in the hierarchical networks. And obviously, the interesting um, output of this proposition is that uh, the nodes at the top of the command, they have high, high between essentiality. And this is why they're important in, the, in those networks. So I can add this idea in. Another great thing about Infranodus is that you can also use plain text to make your mind map. So, for instance, here you have to think of the certain concepts that you're going to add into the graph and so on. But I could also just use plain text. So I can start from typing there are different types of networks, scale, free, random, social. And as you can see, every word is a node and every connection is the co-occurrence between them. So then I can quickly visualize, I can say that, for example, social networks are small world and scale free. Add them here, add more, okay, social networks, scale free, and so on. If I want to connect scale free, I can just say, okay, this is one word, so just link it for me and use it as one word. Okay, great. You see, so I can also use plain text to input information. Try it out on infranodus.com. The website has many different examples and use cases and also you can see the mind maps creating using the tool. Here is one on the traditional Chinese medicine, accelerators and venture funds, network visualization tools, even news of the day made from the plain text and see how it fits your use case. You might find that the combination between the two approaches can be something interesting, or you might want to completely switch to this rhizomatic way of thinking through graphs. Thank you.